When Godot launches into the project manager, and this is where we can create new projects as well as edit existing ones. So let's create a new project. Uh, we're going to navigate to where we want it to be. Create a folder called Roll A Ball. And click OK. Say open. And it creates a folder uh, where we want it. It names the project file after that. And then it gives us an entry inside the project manager. So let's go ahead and start editing by clicking the edit button. And then we are presented with the scene editor. The scene editor allows us to create uh, scene trees. And that's the foundation of Blender. So let's start by creating our first scene tree node. And that's going to be our empty transform called a spatial node. We're going to rename that world. So there's our empty transform with no geometry. And we are going to save the scene because uh, we can't run our game without having a scene file living somewhere. So we are going to save our scene. And now we are going to set our project such that it thinks that the scene we just saved is our main scene. The scene editor will allow you to create multiple scenes which you can add to your scene tree, but we want this to be our top level or uh, main scene, so we need to specify that. And so I'm going to call level scene our main scene, and now we are good to go. So our project knows what our main scene is, but we still don't have a camera so we can look at things in our scene, so let's do that. So I'm going to make sure our world is selected, and we're going to hit... Uh, to create the node, new node here, and so I'm going to call that new node. Uh, we need a camera node, and so create camera. Our camera appears at the origin. Uh, not very useful to put a camera at the origin, so we will move the camera with our spatial transform uh, to. We're going to raise it up a little bit. And then we're going to move it backward 20 units. And so now when things appear at the center of the world, our camera will be able to see that. In addition to having a 3D viewport for just game editing, we also want to see what the, what the game camera is seeing. So we need more than one viewport for that. So now I'm going to click preview here. And now I can see through my selected camera and I've got uh, multiple viewports going. Now let's get some object in here, objects in here to look at. I'm going to import 3D Mesh. I'm going to just import some primitives. I've created these ahead of time. Exported from Blender. I've got a cube, plane, and sphere OBJ. I'm just going to import that right now. I need the plane. So let's open that. Give me the plane. No, I don't need to do any settings. Just give me the default settings. And now if I look at my file system refresh, I see the plane mesh. So let's go and create a node that can visualize that for us. I'm doing this wrong, and I'm doing this wrong on purpose just to show you that um, if I create a node here, and let's get the mesh instance node that's going to allow us to visualize meshes. It's created as a child of the camera. We don't want that. So um, what we really want is this thing to be created as a child of the world. So let's reparent it using the parenting tool, reparent that. And that's what I wanted to begin with. So now my mesh is a child of the world, not a child of the camera. Let's tell that mesh where to get its geometry. Load the mesh file we just uh, converted 
So there it is. We're going to call this ground mesh. And now we can see some stuff, but it's too small. That's better. We've got a field, but we've got no player. So let's create a player. We need another mesh instance node for that. Again, I've parented this wrong. I did that on accident this time. All right, so now it's under the world. That is a player mesh. At least it will be when we import our sphere. Under mesh, load, sphere. Uh, yes, open. And there it is. It's a Unisphere, I know that because it was exported by default from Blender. So what we do is we'll move it up one and then we know it's sitting on the on this plane here. Now that we've got our ground mesh and everything going on, let's uh, get some lighting in here. We don't want the default lighting. We're gonna create our own. So let's turn off the default lighting under view, use defaults, turn that off. And then let's create a light under the world. Uh, directional light, create. Uh, we want to enable snapping so that we can orient this thing the way we want it. So let's turn on snapping under transform, use snap. And under transform, make sure local coordinates is unchecked because we want world coordinates. So it is currently unchecked. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to use this 3D widget to rotate this guy around. Uh, we'll ro rotate him negative 30 degrees. If you look over here in the corner, you'll see how much it's being rotated. I'm going to rotate him negative 30 degrees uh, on the Y axis. Oh, on the uh, x-axis, negative 30. And let's go negative 60 on the y. All right, so now I've got uh, this nice, wonderful shading again happening on the bottom, but I don't have a shadow. So let's turn on shadows for our light uh, under light, uh, where is it, shadow on well, let's change these settings mode is going to be pss m4 splits and max distance is going to be 50 and that looks a little better and now what we'll do is we'll also create a fill light because this is can't tell the difference between the shadow and the ball shape when I'm in here. So what I'll do is I'll create another light. This was our key light. And let's get another light in here by duplicating the existing light and then calling it our fill. And then I'm going to rotate it locally 100 and 80 degrees so it's pointing in the opposite direction so there's a nice trick here in the transform dialog box I can apply a transform of 180 degrees locally bam all right so now it's shining from underneath it's doing that a little too bright so let us change the color to cyan and we'll change the intensity to 0.2. And we will turn off the shadows because we don't need that for this light. And that's looking good. All right, so we've got our guy in here. He's in the right place. But we need to do a little organizational cleanup 
We've got five objects in here and it's already looking cluttered. So let's add another spatial empty transform. We're going to call this light rig. And we are going to parent our lights to it. So it's a little confusing having those lights sitting in the middle here. So we will raise them up just a tad, get them out of the way. It doesn't matter where they are because they are uh, directional lights. So um, we are looking good. So we've got shadows, we've got objects in the scene, we've got lights, camera. Um, so far so good, our game is not as dynamic as we want it to be, so that's what we'll work on next. We'll add some collision, some physics, some interaction with uh, uh, the keyboard, and uh, so let's keep this moving. See you next video.